family have come to the water park today. Hello, everyone. Miss Rabbit is in charge. These are the changing rooms. Please change into your swimming costumes. Yes, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Daddy Pig is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> Mummy Pig is wearing her swimming costume. <laughs> Pepper is wearing her swimming costume. <laughs> and George is wearing his swimming costume. <laughs> <laughs> this looks amazing. Yes, there's bubbles and slides and all kinds of watery fun. <laughs> this is the bubble bay. Pedro Pony is here with his mummy. Hello, Peppa. Let's play in the bubbles. Bubbles! No. <laughs> 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 the bubbles lift you up and tickle you. <laughs> oh, yes. That feels good. <laughs> oh, lovely. Bubbly, wobbly, bouncy bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> this is the tipping bucket. Mandy Mouse is here with her mummy. Hello, Peppa. Squeak. Hello, Mandy. You've got to try this. It's brilliant. What do I do? You wait here until the bucket is full. Then what happens? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Something sounds like fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Mummy. You go next. What do I do? You wait here until... Until what? <laughs> ah! oh, oh, no! I'm all wet! <laughs> Although, I suppose that is the point of coming to a water park. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's do the water slides. <laughs> here are the water slides. <laughs> There's a tiny slide for little children. <laughs> Big ginormous slide for the people who like that kind of thing. Look at me on a slide. <laughs> <laughs> That's very high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. <laughs> George, let's do the tiny slide. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, you have to watch us. Okay, we're watching. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> that looks fun. I'm going to have a go. Okay, we'll stay here and watch you. Sorry, Daddy Pig, you can't wear glasses on the water slides. Oh. I'll look after them for you. Daddy Pig cannot see very well without his glasses. Oh, dear. These are the steps to the big, ginormous slide. Daddy, we're waiting! Sorry, I have to go slow without my glasses. Daddy's taking a long time to climb up the tiny slide. Hurry up, Daddy! <laughs> These steps are taking forever. Where is Daddy? There he is! Hello, Daddy Pig. I didn't think you liked heights. Eh? Daddy Pig cannot see where he is. What are you doing up there, Daddy Pig? Sorry, what did you say? Daddy Pig cannot hear because he is so high up. <coughs> Sit back and enjoy the ride. OK, here goes. <laughs> <laughs> The big ginormous slide. Oh, oh. You are brilliant. Here are your glasses, Daddy Pig. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> that was actually the best fun ever. Maybe it helped that I couldn't see anything. <laughs> Daddy Pig loves the water park. Everyone loves the water park. <laughs> Holiday on the sea. Pepper and George are on a cruise ship holiday with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <gasps> We've won a big boat on the sea. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many things to do on this boat. What do we do first, Granny? I think we should have breakfast. Ah, but would that be a mermaid breakfast or a dinosaur breakfast? <gasps> dinosaur! Grr. 
<laughs> this is the Dinosaur Cafe. <laughs> Morning. Would you like some dinosaur breakfast eggs? Dinosaur breakfast eggs have spots on them. <laughs> Ahoy there, sailors! My name is Pirate Pete, and this is Mrs Mermaid. Please come to our fancy dress show tonight. We'll all have lots of fun. Oh, yes. We should go to the show tonight. But before that, what would you like to do? Trampolines? Splash pools? Mini golf? No, no, no! Why not just try them? Everything on this cruise ship is free. Is it really? Yes, except the ride on potato. Ooh. George wants to do the ride on potato. <laughs> potato! Good. You stay here with George. Pepper and I will find something else to do. <laughs> Trampolines! Yippee! Here is Rohan Rhino. Hello, Pepper. Hello, Rohan. Do you want to play in the mermaid splash pool? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Granny. Oh, have you finished bouncing already? Maybe that's enough potato for one day, George. Potato! Potato! Oh. <laughs> this is the mermaid splash pool. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> that's it, George. I have no more coins left. Oh. Hello, boys. We need to get ready for the show. It is showtime on the cruise ship. Everyone has dressed up to watch. Ooh. Good evening, boys and girls. I'm Pirate Pete. I sailed around the seas and treasure was my wish. But nothing did I find there except a great big fish. Oi, I'm a mermaid, not a fish. <laughs> Do you want to come look for treasure? I don't need to. I've got a magic box. Ooh. It will give you whatever you wish for. Just say the magic word. Which is? Uh, oh, I've forgotten. Sorry, memory like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows a magic word? A candelabra. What? A candelabra? <laughs> no, it's not working. Mrs. Mermaid, can you check the box is not broken? <laughs> Oh, Abracadabra! Ooh. Look at that! Chocolate coins for everyone! <laughs> but wait! My new friend, Mrs. Mermaid, has gone! <gasps> Who can help me magic her back? Me! I can help you! Aha! Come up on stage! <laughs> What's your name? I'm Peppa Pig! <laughs> So, Pepper Pig, what do we do to get Mrs. Mermaid back? Say the magic word! Abracadabra! Ta da! <laughs> and that is the end of the show! Good night, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a wonderful day. I can't think how it could be any more special. Ah! What was that? It's a whale! Wow. wow! She's saying night, night! It is bedtime on the holiday cruise ship. Tomorrow will be another day. Swimming lesson! Today, Pepper and her friends are having a swimming lesson. They are in the little pool. The children can touch the bottom of the pool with their feet. Okay, let's start. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Has everyone got a float? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The floats are like spaghetti. Tuck the floats under your arms and swim about. The floats make swimming easy. I love swimming. Yay. I love swimming too. <laughs> Hello. It is Rebecca Rabbit with Mummy Rabbit. Hi, sister. Oh, hi, sister. Sorry we're late. No problem. We've only just started. <laughs> Look at me swim, Mummy. <laughs> that looks like so 
so much fun. I wish I could swim. You can't swim. No, I never learnt. I'm a bit worried about water. Well, sister, I think it's about time you had a swimming lesson. Yes, you can join our lesson. Oh, I'm not sure. It's a children's class and I'm a bit old for lessons. You're never too old to learn something new. Please join us, Mummy. OK, then. I'll just change into a swimming costume. Right, I'm ready. Mummy Rabbit is going to join the children's swimming <coughs> lesson. Oh, good. It's not deep. Yes, this is the little pool. OK, sister. Pick up a float. Tuck it under your arms. Now lift your feet up. OK. Oh, <laughs> look at me. I'm swimming. Well done, Mummy. Yes, sister. That's brilliant. This is such fun. Ah! I've got water on my face. A little splash of water is fine. But I don't like it. I didn't like it before. That's right. Gerald always kept his head high out of the water. But now I can swim with my face in the water. Amazing! But I could never do that. A little splash of water is fine. No, I can't put my head in the water. Gerald, can you show my sister what I taught you? Yes. Put your chin a teeny little bit in the water. Let's all do that. OK. That feels fine. And now we all... Blow bubbles! <laughs> OK. Here goes. <laughs> that was easy. Yes, very good, sister. And now we... Blow bubbles and swim along. Like this. <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> You're as good as me now, Mummy. <laughs> and now it's starfish time! Yay, starfish! The children lie on their backs like starfish and float. Very good, starfish. Do you think I could have a go? Of course. Lie on your back like me. OK. <laughs> Amazing! It works! I'm a starfish! <laughs> <laughs> well done, sister. And, as we've all done so well today, I'm going to get out the inflatables. Hooray! The inflatables are the best bit. There are lots of inflatables. <laughs> Fruit, a slide, and even an inflatable cheese. This is the biggest cheese in the world. <laughs> Look at me on the slide. <laughs> My goodness, that looks fun. Mummy, come and join us. Can I? Can I really? Of course. We can't let the children have all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do the slide, Mummy. OK, here goes. <laughs> You're brilliant, Mummy! This is so much fun! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit loves swimming lessons. Everyone loves swimming lessons. Monkey trees! Today, Pepper and her family are visiting an adventure park. Welcome to Monkey Trees. Miss Rabbit is in charge. What do we do at Monkey Trees? You climb through the trees like monkeys. <laughs> I just hope we don't have to climb too high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. You'll be wearing a harness, so you can't fall. If you lose your balance, oops, the wire will hold you. <laughs> it looks fun. Me first. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> and now me. I just have to keep my balance. <laughs> I don't know what I was worried about. This isn't high at all. That's because this is the practice bit. What? The real course is high up in the treetops. Ah. Uh. Don't worry. I'll be down here giving you advice. That's good to know. Follow the wire. It will lead you where you have to go. The steps are going high into the treetops. Here is the wobbly bridge. <laughs> Danny Dog and his daddy are crossing it. Hello, Danny. 
Hello, Peppa. Wow, we are so high up. Brilliant, isn't it? As long as I don't look down, I should be fine. Ooh, this bridge is wobbly. That's why it's called the Wobbly Bridge. You're doing great. <laughs> wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Wibble, wobble. Um, maybe I'll wait here for a bit. <laughs> Come on, Mr Pig. We can't cross until you cross. What's the hold-up? There is a queue behind Daddy Pig. How? What's going on? Sorry, everyone. OK, here goes. Whoa! I did it! I did the wobbly bridge. Ho, ho! Well done, Daddy. <laughs> These are the swinging hoops. Oh, there's nothing to walk on. Just use your arms to swing from hoop to hoop. Like a monkey. Um, I'm not sure. Come on, Mummy. You have to go first so we can go. OK, here goes. <sighs> oh, my goodness, this is hard work. <laughs> wow! It's too difficult. Oh, I can't hang on anymore. <laughs> ah! Mummy, Pepper, and George are hanging from the wire. Now what do we do? You need something big and heavy to push you across. Ah, I see where this is going. Hang on, here I come. <laughs> Oh, well done, Daddy Pig! Oh, oh, it's what my tummy was built for. <laughs> <laughs> this is the ginormous zip wire. Brilliant! <laughs> this is the last bit. Mr Rabbit will give you some help. Just decide if you want to go head or feet first. Definitely feet first. Feet first, off you go. Woohoo! <laughs> Peppa and George, head or feet first? Head first. <laughs> head first, off you go. <laughs> and Daddy Pig? <laughs> well, I'm certainly not going to say. Head first. Head first. <laughs> Off you go. No, there's been a misunderstanding. I want to go feet first. <laughs> Did you have fun? <laughs> I must admit, that was quite fun. No, Daddy. It was the most amazing good thing in the whole wide world ever! <laughs> Pepper loves monkey trees. Everyone loves monkey trees. <laughs> little cars. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Little Cars Play Centre. Miss Rabbit is in charge. Welcome to the Little Cars Play Centre. We've got little roads, mini traffic lights, and even a tiny roundabout. Ooh. And best of all, you get to drive these little mm. toy cars. Can I drive the blue car? Of course, Pepper. Just pedal with your feet to make the car go. OK. Turn the wheel to steer <laughs> and beat the horn. <laughs> Good beeping. Remember, today is all about having fun. <laughs> I'm going to drive the racing car. <laughs> I won the rocket car. <laughs> Mandy Mouse's car works by electricity. I like this car. I am driving the carrot car. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Happy children enjoying themselves. <laughs> Which way do we go? Any way you like. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, hello, hello. 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 What's going on here, then? We heard beeping of horns. Is there a big traffic problem? No, it's just the children having fun. What's that? Fun, you say? Yes, this is the little car play centre. We like beeping. Stop! You're going all over the place. You're not driving like responsible adults. But 
We are little children. You are still in charge of vehicles. What we need here are some rules of the road. Please follow us. <laughs> here we are, happily driving our cars. You see? No need to beep. <laughs> We've arrived at a pedestrian crossing and an old lady is waiting to cross. What old lady? Miss Rabbit, would you mind pretending to be an old lady? Oh, of course. No problem. Oh, I'm an old lady. You see, children? Old ladies walk slowly. What do you think we should do? Beep the horn to make her go quick. <laughs> no, no, no. We have to be patient and let her cross in her own time. Yes. I'm an old lady. I can't go faster than this. Mind you, this one's taking forever. Perhaps I should let her know we're waiting. Police! <laughs> Move off the road! Good. Now the road is clear, we can move on. <laughs> oh, here's a traffic light and it's red. What does that mean? Stop! Correct. When can we go? When the light is green. Very good. When the light turns green, we can go! Wait for us! <laughs> Now, children, this is a roundabout. Who knows what we do here? Drive around it. That's right. So I want you to <laughs> all go the same way. <laughs> yes, uh, that was interesting. And uh, <laughs> I think that's as good a point as any to stop for today. The children have all done brilliantly. Say thank you to the police for today's lesson. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I hope you've learned at least one thing about beeping your horns. Um, don't beep the horn all the time. That's right. Don't beep the horn all the time. Hello. We're here. The parents have arrived to collect the children. Peppa, have you had a nice time? Yes, Daddy. It's been great. <laughs> Peppa loves little cars. Everyone loves little cars. <laughs> Trampolines. Peppa and her friends have come to the trampoline park. I never bounced on a trampoline. I bounce lots. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> Welcome to the trampoline park. Miss Rabbit is in charge. When you bounce, you must bounce safely. Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. First, take your shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person on each trampoline at a time. Always bounce in the middle. And no clever tricks, just bouncing. It looks fun. Yes, really fun. I might even have a go myself. Happy trampolining, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. Yes, but these mini trampolines are for little children. <laughs> these are the trampolines for big children like us. Now we can do really big. Peppa and Rebecca are doing big bounces. <laughs> I love bouncing. <laughs> I am bouncing higher than the star. Me too. And me. <laughs> bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I think I'll have a go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Peppa, your daddy is on a trampoline. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea, Daddy Pig? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I want to go too. <laughs> and me. Grown-ups <laughs> are bouncing on the trampolines. Bounce, 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 bouncing up so high. Bounce, 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 bouncing in the sky. Mummy Pig is bouncing really high. Bouncing up so high. No, 
not too high, Mummy Pig. Bouncing in the sky. <laughs> Woo! Mummy Pig has landed on top of a tree. Oh, how do I get down? Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll rescue you. Uh, we'll call Miss Rabbit's rescue service. Hello, Trampoline Park. Oh, the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Mummy Pig is stuck in a tree. I'll be right there. Miss Rabbit to the rescue! My goodness, this is embarrassing. Yes, it's the sort of thing that normally happens to me. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. We'll have you down in no time. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Hmm. I can't land on the tree. I know. I've got a really good idea. Oh, where's she going? Whee! She's bouncing back into the sky. Here I come. Whee! Wow! This is unbelievable. Yes, it is one of my more amazing rescues. What happens next? Who knows? That was lucky. I forgot the helicopter was here. Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Next time, don't bounce quite so high. Yes, Mummy. If you bounced on trampolines, you must bounce safely. Thank you, Peppa. I'll remember that in future. <laughs> Peppa loves trampolines. Everyone loves trampolines. The park. Today, Peppa and her family are at the park. There are so many fun things to do in the park. What shall we start with? Let's go to the little bridge and say hello to the ducks. Quack, quack. Yes, the ducks. Here is the little bridge. Zoe Zebra is here. Hello, Zoe. Hello, Peppa. Oh, where are the ducks? I think they are hiding. Let's call them. Ducks, where are you? Come out now, wherever you are. Here is Mrs Duck. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Duck. Here are the baby ducklings. Ooh. They are so sweet. Quack, quack. Peppa likes talking to ducks. Everyone likes talking to ducks. What a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's visit the bouncy tree. This is the bouncy tree. Danny Dog is already on it. Hello, Danny. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Ready, steady, Bounce! <laughs> bounce! Bounce! George wants a go. OK, George, I'll lift you on, but I'll keep hold of you. George is a bit too little to bounce on the branch on his own. Ready, Ready steady, steady, bounce! <laughs> <laughs> That's enough bouncing for today. See you later! Bye, Danny! So, what's next? I think it's the hopping logs. These are the hopping logs. Susie Sheep is here. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Watch me. I can do it without touching the ground. Hooray! <laughs> My go. Oh. Now it is George's turn. There you go, George. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, it's a big gap, isn't it, George? Would you like some help? 
One day, when George is big like me, he will be able to do it on his own. <laughs> What's next? It has to be the monkey bars. <laughs> Here are the monkey bars. Candy Cat and Pedro Pony are trying to swing across them. It is difficult not to let go of the monkey bars. My turn! You just have to swing like a monkey. Look! It's easy when you're big and strong like me. You're not swinging, you're walking. <laughs> cheeky Daddy Pig. <laughs> Daddy is a cheeky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I certainly am. <laughs> Oh, I can't hold on. Oof, it's impossible. George wants to go. Oh, George, you are too little. Even I can't do it. Hmm, maybe being little might help. <laughs> Hooray! What can we do now? Well, there's one thing in the park that we absolutely have to do. I think I know what that is. Um... It has something to do with your boots. Jumping up and down in muddy puddles! The park has lots of muddy puddles for Peppa and her friends to jump in. This is brilliant! Peppa loves the park. Everybody loves the park. <laughs> Mountain climbing. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the climbing centre. Grumpy Rabbit is in charge. Hello, children. Today, we're mountain climbing. Ooh. Is it difficult? Yes, but it's fun too. I've climbed many mountains. Have you ever got stuck? Yes. Once I was climbing a mountain and I couldn't go up or down. What did you do? I called Mountain Rescue. They came and saved me using a helicopter. Oh, Dad, not again. Sorry. Rescue by a helicopter. Brilliant. Yes, but that won't be happening today. We haven't got mountains. We've got climbing walls. We call this one Mount Snowden. It's just like a real mountain. Apart from the fact it's little and made of plastic. Ah. And you're going to be wearing safety helmets. <laughs> <laughs> what are the bubbly colour bits? You use them to put your hands and feet on, like this. Wow! Who wants to go? Me, please. Like this. Very good, Pedro. <laughs> Which bobbly bits do I use? Any colour you want. OK, I'll do yellow. Susie Sheep is climbing using the yellow bobbly bits. Pepper is using the blue bobbly bits. This is fun! George, would you like a go? <laughs> <laughs> George has climbed to the very top. Well done, George! My little brother is the best at climbing. <laughs> that was our little climbing wall. Now for our big one. May I present Mount Everest? Ooh. Mount Everest is very high. Yes. Which is why nobody climbs Mount Everest without a safety rope. If I want to stop, I simply come down gently on the rope. Ooh. Who wants to go first? Are you sure, George? <laughs> Remember, you can come down any time on the rope. <laughs> George is climbing Mount Everest. Wow! Oh, my goodness! That is high! George has reached the top. <laughs> Brilliant climbing! 
Oh dear, George is a little bit worried. Hang on, George. Mummy's coming. Stop! You can't climb without a rope. It's against the rules. No time for rules. I have to rescue George. <laughs> Mummy's here. Do you feel better now, George? <laughs> George is not worried anymore. Hooray! Good. Down you come, George. Well done, George. <laughs> Hello. What about me? How do I get down? Hmm. For you, we will have to call Mountain Rescue. Hello? Mountain Rescue, please. Oh, Dad! You're not stuck up a mountain again? Not me. It's Mummy Pig. She's on Mount Everest. What? The actual Mount Everest? No, the plastic one. I'll be right there. <laughs> Hang on, Mummy Pig. Woohoo! Mummy Pig is rescued. Hooray! Mummy, was it fun being rescued? Uh, it was kind of fun, I suppose. Mummy Pig <laughs> loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Everyone loves mountain climbing. <laughs> Pepper is on holiday at Kylie Kangaroo's house. What are we going to do today, Kylie? We're going to the beach. Yippee! I love the beach! <laughs> Everybody ready? Yeah! Then let's go! <laughs> this is the beach. Yeah, you'll need life vests for the water. <laughs> Dad, are we good to go surfing now? You're all good. What is that? It's a surfboard. What do you do with it? You lie on it and the waves push you along. Ooh. Come on, Peppa, I'll teach you. <laughs> it's easy to float because the board is super floaty. <laughs> the tricky bit is catching the wave. Ready? Steady. Now, Peppa. Kylie is being carried along by a wave. <laughs> Don't miss the next one, Peppa. <laughs> Ready, steady, go. Whee! Isn't it awesome? Yes, it's brilliant. Whee! <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. It's true. <laughs> Surfing is the best thing ever. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> George wants to go surfing. Sorry, George. You're a bit too little to go surfing. Oh, the waves are getting too big for Pepper and Kylie. Oh, is it time to go home? Are you kidding? These waves are perfect for grown-ups to surf. That's proper surfing. These waves are awesome. Wow. wow! Kylie, where's your little brother? He's out there with Mum. <laughs> Having fun, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> Your turn to surf, guys. Thank you, but I'm quite happy to watch. Why don't you have a go, Mr Pig? Why not? It does look fun. Aw, the waves have gone. Too bad, Mr Pig. Looks like you've missed your chance to surf today. Oh, that's a shame. But it's just right for little George to go paddling in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come with you, George. <laughs> no surfing, George, but you can sit on me instead. George likes sitting on top of Daddy Pig. <laughs> Look at that wave coming! Crikey, it's a big one. Daddy, there's a big wave coming! Wave! wave. wave. What's that? Wave. Wave. <laughs> I think they want us to wave, George. Cooey! <laughs> Cooey! <Whoa! laughs> George 
is using Daddy Pig as a surfboard. <laughs> wow, George has got great balance. <laughs> Hooray! You're a natural surfer, George. Maybe you can teach me a few tricks. <laughs> George is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Surfing, Mummy. Yes, what a fantastic holiday we're having. So, what's planned for tomorrow? Are you, uh, staying another day? I could stay here forever. Well, I do have to go to work tomorrow. They can come along too. Mm, OK. Well, I suppose that might be great. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely long holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. <laughs> Canyon Country. Pepper and George are in America, on their way to Hollywood. Look at that view! It's like the moon. Are we on the moon, Mummy? <laughs> no, Pepper. We might be lost, but we can't be that lost. Can we, Daddy Pig? Uh. Stop! Here is Mr. Buffalo. He is digging up the road. Excuse me, but is this Hollywood? No! This is the desert! Oh. Has it always been the desert? Well, a long time ago, it was actually the sea. The sea? Yeah. If you look in the sand, there are seashells. Look, George. This was the seaside. <laughs> but now it's desert for miles and miles and miles. So which way is Hollywood, please? That way. Thank, Thank you. you. The desert is going on for miles and miles and miles and oh, miles. Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> no, not yet, Pepper. America is a very big country. It feels like we could go on forever. Stop! It's Mr. Buffalo again. I'm not Mr. Buffalo. I'm Mr. Bison. Ah. Oh. Are you digging up the road? No, miss. This here is a canyon. Ooh, that's a big hole. Yes, it is. 277 miles long, 18 miles wide, one mile deep. Wow. And you dug that hole all by yourself? No, sir, I did not dig it. That canyon was carved out by a river a long time ago. Ooh. If y'all want to know more, there's an information desk over there. Hey, how you doing? I'm Miss Rabbit. Oh, it's another Miss Rabbit. Yeah, there's a lot of us about. Would you like a tour of the canyon? Yes, yes please. please. Then hop in. <laughs> wow! Amazing, isn't it? It certainly is. These rocks have been here since the time of the dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any dinosaurs now, but many wonderful animals live in the canyon. <coughs> There's an eagle! <coughs> wow. wow! The next part of the tour is by boat. Boat? This rope ladder is for your convenience. What? You want us to climb down? Yes! Down you go! What do we do now? Just sit back and go with the flow! OK. Just watch out for the rapids! Whoa! <laughs> it's like a bag of mine! That was the best fun ever! Uh, yes. Lots of fun. Wow! Just think, we might be the first to ever enter these caves. Postcards, drinks, <laughs> snacks. Huh? Welcome to the Canyon Caves. Come and have a look. These were homes for the people who lived here a long time ago. They drew pictures of all the animals that lived here. Look, there's the eagle. Ooh. And that is the end of the tour. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. My pleasure. 
Where are you off to now? We're going to Hollywood to be in a movie with Super Potato and Hash Brown. Wow! I would love to be in a movie with Hash Brown. You can come too if you like. Well, that's very kind, but I'm so busy here. You have a great time in Hollywood. We will. Bye. 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 Enjoy Hollywood. Pepper and her family are on their way to Hollywood. Undersea party. It is a lovely sunny day. Pepper is feeding Goldie the fish. Mummy, how old is Goldie? Well, I think she must be almost a year old. When is her birthday? Let's see. Her birthday is tomorrow. Can Goldie have a party? Oh. Um, perhaps we can have a little party. Daddy, Daddy, Goldie's having a birthday party. A party for a fish. That's fun. I suppose it will be an undersea party with starfish, treasure and mermaids all in an amazing undersea world. Oh, <laughs> yes. It will be the best party ever. Oh, oh. <laughs> Daddy Pig, what have you done? It's just a game, isn't it? We're not really having a party. Well, yes, I think we are, and it's tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK, keep calm, don't panic. We'll just get some help. Undersea party. Here we go. Undersea parties. Brought to your house by Miss Rabbit. Sounds good. Click here and I'll be straight over. Hello. Wow, that was quick. How many days have I got to plan this party? It's tomorrow. No problem. You go to bed. I've got this. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Good night. Right, let's get to work. <laughs> it is Goldie's birthday. Miss Rabbit has made an amazing undersea world with shells, seaweed and big waves on the walls. Wow! <gasps> you did all this in one night? It's unbelievable! Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> oh, who can that be? Well, you said it was a party, so I invited everyone! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! <laughs> Hi, Peppa. This is Penny Polar Bear. i never been to an undersea party. Bye, Penny. Have a lovely time. <laughs> I've made costumes for everybody. You can be a mermaid, Peppa. Thank you. And here is a crab costume for George. Pinch, pinch. I am Susie Octopus. <laughs> I'm Mandy Shark. Squeak! But I'm not a scary shark. I only eat cheese. <laughs> Penny Polar Bear is a penguin. Yeah. Danny Dog is a pirate. Aha! Rebecca Rabbit is, um... I'm a fish finger because I love fish fingers. <laughs> I'm a sea captain and Edmund is a jellyfish. I'm not convinced this costume accurately represents a jellyfish, but I'm not going to spoil the fun. Oh, you all look brilliant. <laughs> is everybody ready for the pirate treasure hunt? Yes, yes Miss Rabbit. The first clue is I swim along with a giant tail. I'm the biggest fish in the sea. I'm a... Shark! Almost. I have a giant tail. I'm a... Whale! That's right! <laughs> Here's a whale! The biggest fish in the sea is a whale. Actually, a whale is not a fish. It's a mammal. Edmund Elephant really is extremely clever. <laughs> OK. Last clue. I'm buried treasure and X marks the spot. <laughs> Here it is! Hooray! Well done! You found the treasure! Oh, it's teeny tiny. That's because it's for a tiny fish. Ah, this is for you, Goldie. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, Goldie! Goldie loves undersea parties. 
Everybody loves undersea parties. Weather station. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup today. Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn about the weather. Ooh. There are all kinds of weather. Sun, rain, wind, snow. I like sunny weather the best. Then we can go to the beach. Oh, yes, Mandy. A sunny day at the beach sounds very nice. I like it when it's windy. Then you can fly a kite. <laughs> yes, it needs to be windy to fly a kite. Anyone else? Madame Gazelle. Yes, Penny Polar Bear. I like snow the best. Then we can go sledding. Good. Penny Polar Bear loves snow. Snow is such fun! I like rain. And what do you like about rain, Peppa? Rain makes muddy puddles for jumping up and down in. <laughs> yes, we do need rain for puddles. Now, as the weather happens outside, today's lesson will be outside. <laughs> Children, look what I've made. What is it? It is our very own weather station. Wow! What does it do? I will show you. At the moment, the sun is shining in the sky. Mandy Mouse, please turn the arrow to point at the sun. OK. The weather station is showing it is sunny. Ooh. And this thermometer has coloured liquid that goes up and down and tells us exactly how sunny and hot it is today. Wow! So, how hot does this thermo thingy say it is? It says today is, um, nice and warm. It's getting windy, really windy. Can I move the arrow? Of course, Benny. The weather station is showing it is windy. And to see exactly how windy it is, we have this. It is made of sticks and old plastic cups. Ooh! So how windy does it say it is? It says it is, um, very windy. Ah! It started to rain! We're getting wet! Don't worry, children. I have brought the big umbrella. The big umbrella! <laughs> that is a big umbrella. Now we can stay nice and dry and watch the rain. Madame Gazelle, can I move the arrow this time? Of course, Peppa. The weather station is showing rain. Could somebody hold the umbrella for me, please? Thank you. Now we will use this rain bottle. It is made out of an old plastic bottle cut in half. Then put back together like this. There. The rain bottle is filling up with water. <laughs> the rain has stopped. Look, we can see how much it has rained. So how much has it rained? The bottle is full. So that means it has rained, um, a lot. And lots of rain means lots of... Muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good day for our weather station. We've had sun, wind and rain. But we didn't have snow. Oh, I think it would be too much to wish for snow as well. Oh! What's that? Snow! <laughs> it has started to snow. That is unbelievable! I'll move the arrow. The weather station is showing snow. I love sun, wind, rain and snow. Peppa <laughs> loves the weather. Everyone loves the weather. The big hill. Today, Pepper and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day! Perfect for walking! <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Pepper. Um, let's go 
that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Peppa? Yes. <coughs> Let's go. <laughs> Peppa and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. <laughs> think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well, there's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? <coughs> Brilliant! That will keep me going. Oh, nearly there, George. <coughs> it is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, oh. I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing. What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. This is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK, we've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Mummy, why did they make hills so big? Oh, I don't know, Peppa. I hope <sighs> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone far. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing! <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you? Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Wow! Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. <laughs> Parachute games. It is a lovely sunny day at Playgroup. Peppa and her friends are hard at work painting pictures. I'm painting a tree with all the leaves. Rainbow with all the colours. What wonderful paintings, children! You have worked hard, so now it's time for play. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Look what I have! It's a rainbow parachute, and we are going to play games with it. Ooh. First, I want the little ones to hold the parachute edge. George, Richard, Edmund, Zuzu and Zaza are holding onto the parachute. And give it a wiggle like this. Wiggle, wiggle. Look at the way the parachute 
parachute moves. It is like the sea. Imagine a little boat sailing on that sea. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. I will put this little toy boat on our sea. The boat, the boat bobs up. Say bye-bye to the boat. Bye-bye. Okay, now it is the turn of the big children. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are holding the parachute. Imagine a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer. I spin through space. Together, we are going to turn this parachute into a flying saucer. On the count of three, we lift the parachute up and then let go. Are you ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! One, two, three, and lift! Up, up, up! And let go! Wow! The parachute looks like a flying saucer. I'm a flying saucer, I spin through space. I spin and I spin and I spin all day. I spin and I spin and I spin, and I spin all day. explanation, I could set aside time to go through it later. Yes, thank you, Edmund. Edmund Elephant is very, very clever. <laughs> now everyone hold the parachute. <laughs> All of the children are holding the parachute. Imagine a cooking pot with corn popping. I will use ping pong balls for the corn. What happens now? Well, now the pot gets hotter and the corn is ready to pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, pop, pop! Pop, 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 pop! 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 Pop, pop! It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Wow! You're playing parachute games! Oh, I loved playing parachute games when I was little. My favourite was the rainbow game. Well, we could all play the rainbow game. Yes, please! <laughs> Everyone is holding the parachute. Lift the parachute up, up, up. Now step in and pull down. <laughs> Everyone is inside the rainbow parachute. Oh, it's just like we are inside a rainbow. It's brilliant. I wonder how it stays up like this. I'm very glad you asked. In simple terms, it's a rainy sunny day. The rainbow's here today. Rainbow, rainbow. Red and orange and yellow and green and purple and blue. Rainbow, rainbow. It's a rainy sunny day. It's the best rainbow ever. Pepper loves parachute games. Everybody loves parachute games. Ooh. The Great Barrier Reef. Pepper is on holiday in Australia at Kylie Kangaroo's house. I love it here at your house, Kylie. Yes, I could stay here forever. It's great having you all stay, but I will have to go to work today. What is your job, Mrs Kangaroo? I'm a marine biologist. What's that? I study sea creatures, like these little fish here. Ooh, a fish tank! But the fish I study don't live in a tank, they live in the sea. Do the fishes in the sea have little bridges to swim through and treasure to play with? <laughs> no, Pepper. That's just the sort of stuff people put in fish tanks. Would you all like to come and see where I work? Yes, please. I've been to where my daddy works. There was a telephone, lots of paper and colouring pens. It was a very nice office. I think you'll find my office is pretty fun too. <laughs> <laughs> this is my office. Where? There, Peppa. The sea. I've got the best office in the world. But how can you work in the sea? With this submarine. 
Do you want a ride? Yes, please! Okay, hop in! <laughs> wow! It's all the colours of the rainbow! That's coral! Coral is made of lots and lots of tiny creatures. Ooh. Ooh. And the coral stretches for miles and miles. We call it the Great Barrier Reef. It's my job to keep the coral safe. Can we take some coral home with us? Sorry, Pepper. We can look, but we mustn't touch. If every visitor took a little bit of coral home... Soon all the coral would be gone. We must never, never take anything away from here. Ah! Oh, look! Little fish! They're clownfish. Clownfish? <laughs> they do look quite funny. Look over there! A big blue starfish! There's a tiny red one! And a spiky green one! What's that? That's a turtle! Ooh. Hello, Mrs Turtle! How are you today? <laughs> you see how lucky I am to work in such an amazing place, Peppa? <laughs> Look! A little bridge! Just like in your fish tank! Oh, 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 you're right, Peppa! It is quite like the fish tank here. Except there's no treasure chest, of course. <laughs> <laughs> what have you seen, George? It looks like a chest full of gold coins! Wow! wow. George has found a treasure chest. You see, Daddy, everything is the same as the fish tank. Uh, yes. That gold must be worth a fortune. I think I can get it. But you said we must never take anything away. I meant natural things that belong here. That's right. These gold coins don't belong here, so we need to remove them. It will all go to a good cause. Yes, it'll pay for lots more marine research. Hooray! That was a good day at the office. We saw coral and fishes and a turtle. This is a great holiday. I don't want it to ever end. <laughs> but you are going to leave sometime, right? Oh, not that you aren't welcome to stay as long as you like, of course. Thank you, Mrs. Kangaroo. <laughs> this holiday is the best. <laughs> Pepper is having a lovely holiday with Kylie Kangaroo. Canal boat. <laughs> Today is Captain Dog's birthday. Happy birthday, Captain Dog. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Daddy, you look sad. Oh, it's nothing, son. Just seeing this here boat reminded me how much I miss the sea. Captain Dog loves the sea. Why not open your birthday present? It's a boat trip. A boat trip? That's just what I wanted. Let's go! <laughs> There's nothing better than sailing a boat. You could go anywhere you want in a sailing boat. We could head for the tropics or have an Arctic adventure. We might even see a whale. Ha ha! It's just a day trip, dear. This is the canal. Now, where's the sailing boat? We're going on this canal boat. I see. We use the canal boat to get to the sailing boat. No, dear. We're going on this boat for your birthday and we're sailing it down the canal. But on a canal, you can only go this way and that way. It'll be fun. Come on, Dad. It is a boat. Yes, Danny, you're right. A boat on the water. All aboard. Oh, I wanted to say that. Oh, I'm sorry. Go on, then. All aboard! <laughs> Raise the sail! Oh, where is the sail? Canal boats do not have sails. You just push this button to make the boat go. Ah, thank you, Mummy Dog. <laughs> and we're away. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Dog. 
duck is going faster than our boat. <coughs> Want a race, do you, Mrs. Duck? <coughs> Full steam ahead. <laughs> <coughs> uh, can't this thing go any faster? No, this is the top speed. Oh. Anyway, you want to slow down. We're coming to a mountain. Ah! Look out! There's a mountain in front. We're going to crash straight into it. No, we're going into the tunnel. There is a tunnel through the mountain. It's all gone dark. And our voices sound funny. <laughs> we sailed straight through the middle of a mountain. Ha-ha! This canal boat is actually quite fun. <laughs> Look! Here comes another mountain! And that means another tunnel. Not this time. Oh, there's no tunnel. So what do we do? We're going uphill. There's no way in the world a boat can go uphill. There is, and it's called a lock. Watch, I'll show you. Mummy Dog is opening the gates to the lock. Take her in, Captain! Just wait there while I close these lock gates. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm letting in the water from the top. We're going up. The rising water is lifting the canal boat up. Now I open these gates. Take her out, Captain. Full steam ahead! <laughs> Whoa! Where's the ground gone? We're in the sky! We're sailing over a bridge! Yes! This bridge means we can sail high above the valley below! Ha-ha! <laughs> sailing across the sky! What could be a better adventure? <laughs> <laughs> sailing across the sky In a boat so high Floating on the water Sailing across the sky. <laughs> Have you had a fun time, Daddy? I should say so. I've sailed through mountains, over hills, and across the sky. <laughs> this is my best birthday ever. Captain Dog loves canal boats. Everyone loves canal boats. Sailing boat. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. They are members of the sailing club. Hello. We're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes. You can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. A bobbing, 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 bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Aha, <laughs> right you are. Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the ties than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. 
Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes, then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong. No, no, of course not. I, I just... We're stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> the boat has two little bunk beds. Ooh. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night, night, Grandpa. <laughs> Night, night, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. The stars are twinkling in the sky above. It is morning. We're bobbing up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Look, children, the water is back. Hooray! Grandpa Pig's boat is floating again. Time to sail home. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> the boat bobs up and down. <laughs> Granny Pig has come to meet Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Thank you. Hello, my little ones. Did you have a nice time? Yes! We got stuck in the mud and had a sleepover. <laughs> Pepper <laughs> loves sailing. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> loves sailing. <laughs> Training. Susie Sheep has come to play with Pepper and George. <laughs> Pepper and Susie are having a tea party. <laughs> Would Teddy like some tea? Yes, please. Teddy loves tea. <laughs> Here you are, then. Thank you very much. <laughs> George is playing with Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> George likes playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Oh. <sighs> What's that smell? <sighs> poo poo. Mummy! <laughs> George has done poo poo! Do you need the potty, George? Too late for the potty. <sighs> oh, yes. Let's get you cleaned up, George. <sighs> That's better. Now, where were we? Tea. Oh, yes. Does Teddy want more tea? Of course. Teddy likes lots of tea. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, all clean and fresh again. <laughs> Mummy, why can't George go to the toilet like me? George is too little for the toilet, Pepper. He is potty training. He is not very good at potty training. He will get better, Pepper. You were just the same once. What? <laughs> I never did potty training. Or me. <laughs> we all did potty training when we were little, Pepper. Even mummies and daddies. Really? Yes. <laughs> now I remember sitting on the potty like this. <laughs> so, George, next time, before you poo-poo or wee-wee, call the magic word potty. Potty! That's right, potty. If you do it right, you get to stay all clean and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play giants! <laughs> Come on, George. 
George, let's get you to your potty. George is on his potty. <laughs> well done, Pepper, for shouting out. George did a wee in his potty. But next time, George, you must do the shouting out. <laughs> Call the magic word potty. Potty. Ho, oh, oh, ho. The magic word is potty. So when you want to go, Call out for your potty. The magic word is potty. 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 <laughs> How high can you throw the ball, Peppa? Really high. Watch this. <laughs> Catch the ball, George. <laughs> George, you called for the potty. Potty! Hooray! Hooray! Now George is almost grown up, like me. <laughs> <laughs> George loves potty training. Everybody loves potty training. The castle. Today, Pepper and George are going to visit a castle. What will we do at the castle, Mummy? Let me see what the guidebook says. Will the castle be good or will it be boring? It will be good. Will we see knights in armour? <laughs> George likes knights in armour. You never know, George. We might even see a dragon. <laughs> a pretend dragon, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy. Dragons are in storybooks. They're not really real. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the castle. Welcome to the castle tour. Cars are parked to owner's risk. What does that mean, Daddy? Oh, nothing, Pepper. They always say that in car parks. Please make your way to the castle where you will be met by a knight in armour. <laughs> Hello, it is Mr Rabbit, dressed as a knight in armour. We start the castle tour here at the cannon. Ooh. In the olden days, this cannon fired these heavy cannonballs high up into the sky. Daddy, is he going to fire the cannon? <laughs> no, that would be crazy. Right, let's fire the cannon. Five, four, three, two, one, fire! <laughs> that almost hit our car. Well, we do say cars are parked at owner's risk. On with the tour. You are going to see the wonders of the castle. Eat a real medieval banquet. Wow, a real medieval banquet. It sounds delicious. And meet a dragon. <laughs> this is the royal throne room where the king and queen would sit. Whoa. Who would like to have a go? <laughs> George can be king and I'll be a bossy queen. Do this, do that. <laughs> Your Majesties, may I carry on with the tour? Yes, you may. We have to go through a secret passage. But first, we have to find the secret passage. Hmm. These secret passages usually have some sort of top secret button to open them. I don't think it's that big red button, George. That would be too obvious. Oh. Yes, we try to keep it simple. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> this passage has led us to the dining hall. Wow. This must be the medieval banquet. Yes, it looks really tasty. It's all made of plastic. Yes, it's to show what a real banquet would have looked like. Oh. But of course, as part of the tour, you get to have your very own real medieval banquet. Fantastic! Here it is, your banquet in a box. The oldie cheese sandwich, Jester's pickle and a king's jelly. It's a little picnic in a box. Yes, it's not quite the medieval banquet I was expecting. 
And now it's time to meet the dragon. <laughs> George, it won't be a real dragon. Dragons are just pretend. Yes, don't be sad if it's just Miss Rabbit holding a little glove puppet. Oh! Wow. Wow. Miss Rabbit is driving a huge robot dragon. Do you want to see it breathe fire? Yes, please! <laughs> I'm just going to park it! Oh, uh, it's heading for our car! Another reason we say cars are parked at owner's risk. And that's the end of the tour! Hope you had a lovely time. I think that was George's best day out ever. <laughs> George loves castles. Everyone loves castles. The police. Pepper and her friends have brought their bikes to playgroup. Children, today we have very important visitors. The police are coming to our playgroup. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, no, Nina. It's Dido, Dido, no, Dido. Police cars go. Yes, yes. If I might explain, what I was about to say was police. The police. Here are the police. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. 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 <laughs> I'm Police Officer Squirrel. And I'm Police Officer Panda. We're going to teach you how to ride your bicycle safely. Ooh. Right, let's see you all riding your bikes. <laughs> Look where you're going. Always keep your ears and eyes open. And stop. Well done, children. Now, suppose you're riding your bike along and someone steps out in front of you. What do you do? Um, uh... I would ring my bell. Very good. Ringing your bell lets others know you are there. Can you all show me how good you are at ringing bells? <laughs> um... I don't have a bell. I have a horn. A horn is just as good as a bell. Could you give your horn a tiny little toot so that we can all... Yes, that should be sufficient to alert the public of your approach. Now for the last bit of the lesson. Where is he going? Police Officer Panda is driving to the bottom of the hill. Calling Police Officer Squirrel. Over. Can you read me? Over. Read you loud and clear. Over. The police have special phones to talk to each other. I'm in position. Over. Now, when I blow my whistle, I want you all to cycle down the hill and use your brakes to not bump into Police Officer Panda. OK. <laughs> They're on their way. Over. I see them coming. Over. <laughs> Very good braking, everyone. Are you ready for Madam Gazelle? Over. Send her down. Over. Uh, I don't think I need to do this. I am the teacher, and I wasn't Off supposed you to go. be taught. Ears and eyes open. Ears and eyes open. Yes. This is fun. Ring your bell. Oh, yes. Ring bell. Brakes. Oh, yes. Brakes. Well done. And that's how to ride your bicycles safely. Children, thank the police for taking time off from their important work to talk to us today. Thank you. You're very welcome. When I grow up, I want to be a policeman. And what is it about being a policeman that you like? I like blowing whistles. Very good. But of course there's more to being a police officer than blowing whistles. Oh yes, we're always very busy. We do lots of very important things, like... Uh, the police solve mysteries and drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina! Woo -woo. Spot on, Freddy. Right, we really must be on our way. 
And remember, always keep your ears and eyes open. Oh, who put that tree there? Yes, it's not a safe place to put a tree. I'll make a note. Dangerous tree on public highway. Ho, ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Peppa loves the police. Everyone loves the police. Peppa goes to Paris. Peppa is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then, Paris, here we come. Mummy, where is Paris? Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll see. This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy! The boat is rocking about. Yes, Peppa. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Land ahoy! <laughs> the ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig? They might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see, it's just like driving at home. Ah! Hello there! Hello! <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour! Bonjour, Delphine! Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> oh, what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow. This is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs, get your little Eiffel Towers here. The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no. That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh, ooh. If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh! These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. You're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. 
everything! <laughs> the ambulance! Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today Dr. Brown Bear is coming to show us an ambulance. I like ambulances. 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 <laughs> Will the ambulance go? Nina, Nina, Nina. Yes, thank Nina. you, Freddy. I'm sure it will. Here is Dr. Brown Bear. Hello, children. Does anybody know what this is called? It's an ambulance. An ambulance? And who can tell me what it's for? Taking sick people to the hospital. That's right. Can we hear the Nina Nina sound, please? Yes. <laughs> we normally use that only in a real emergency. Dr. Brown Bear? Can you show us what you would do in a real emergency? Yes, I'll show you. Using this teddy and this ball. Ooh. One day, Teddy was playing football when, whoopsie, he tripped over the ball. Somebody calls for the ambulance. Freddy, would you mind making the ambulance noise, please? Nina, Nina, <laughs> Nina! First thing I do is see if the person is awake. Are you awake? Yes, Doctor. Do you know your name? My name is Mr. Teddy. Can you tell me what happened, Mr. Teddy? I tripped over a football. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that football where no one else can trip over it. Now, tell me, Mr. Teddy, which bit hurts? My arm hurts. We just need to bandage that arm up. And because you have been such a brave boy, you get a sticker. And that's how the ambulance works. Wonderful. Children, say thank you to Dr. Brown Bear. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. You're very welcome. And remember, always look where you're going. Then... Whoops! Dr. Brown Bear is rolling down the hill. Ow! 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 He rolled through a prickly bush. Ow! 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 He hit a tree. Ow! 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 And apples fell on his head. Oh! Oh, my goodness! Call an ambulance! The ambulance is here! Oh, yes! Everyone into the ambulance! <laughs> don't worry, Dr. Brown Bear. We are here to make you better. Uh, thank you, but I don't think I need your help. I am the doctor, remember? Yes, but we must do all the checks. I really don't think this is... Not another word. Children, what do we do first? Check he's awake. Well done, Pepper. Are you awake, Doctor? Yes. Good. He is awake. This is all very nice of you, but Who I... Who knows what to do next? We ask him his name. Yes, but in this case, it's what not... What is your name? Dr. Brown Bear. Now we ask him what happened. You saw what happened. I tripped over that ball and fell down the hill. That was a bit silly now, wasn't it? Which bit is hurting? Every bit is hurting. Where is it hurting most? In my arm and my leg and here on my head. We just need to bandage him up. <laughs> because you have been such a brave doctor, you get a sticker. Oh. Have a sticker! Have a sticker. Have a sticker. Oh. Children, say Thank you to Dr. Brown Bear for giving us such a wonderful demonstration of how the ambulance works. Thank you, Dr. Brown Bear. It was my pleasure. <laughs> Dr. Brown Bear loves ambulances. Everybody loves ambulances. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit's hovercraft. Grandpa Pig is taking Pepper and George out for the day on his sailing boat. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello. Hello, old bean. Grandpa, that man just called you an old bean. Yes, Peppa. It's another way of saying old friend. Are they?
they your friends, Grandpa? Oh, not really. We're just members of the same sailing club. Now, where did I leave my boat? What does your boat look like, Grandpa? It has a little red flag on top of the mast. Like that little flag? Ah, yes. Oh, dear. Grandpa Pig's sailing boat has sunk. I'm afraid we can't go sailing today, children. Oh. Here is Grampy Rabbit on his hovercraft. <laughs> what is that monstrosity? Is it allowed at a sailing club, Mara? Hello! What a marvellous day for sailing! Hello, Grampy Rabbit. Pepper, you look sad. What's the matter? We can't go sailing because our boat has sunk. Oh dear. Why don't you hop onto my hovercraft? Hooray! <laughs> I really don't think this is quite... Hold on to your hat! <laughs> ah! 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 Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft can go on land and water. I built it myself! You'd never guess, would you? <laughs> We don't need that boat. You can't drive this thing around here. You're not a member of the sailing club. Well, you're a member, aren't you? Yes, but... That's all right, then. <laughs> ah, nothing like a peaceful day sailing. The calmness of the water, the quietness of the... Oh, what's that horrible noise? Hello there! Lovely day for a sail! It's that monstrosity again! Is that Grandpa Pig? Uh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> I say, is anybody else thirsty? Me! Me! I saw an old shed back there selling juice. That's not an old shed. That's the Sailing Club Cafe. It's for members only. Yes, whatever! Let's go and get some juice. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, four beakers of juice, please. I'm afraid you cannot be served here, sir, unless you're a club member. I'm not, but he is. Uh, hello. Four juices, please. Ah, yes, sir. This is the life, eh? The sea and the sky and the boat sailing by. But the boats are not sailing by, Grampy Rabbit. There's no wind. Without wind, sailing boats can't Help. sail. Help! 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 We need to rescue them, Grampy Rabbit. Good idea, Pepper. Hold on to your socks. <laughs> Ahoy there! Toss me a line and I'll tow you back in. Here we go! Grampy Rabbit's hovercraft is towing the sailing boats back to shore. We're towing the boats to shore, boys. We're towing the boats to shore. We're towing the boats to the car park. Towing the boats to be parked. I brought everyone back to the car park. That way, they don't have so far to walk to their cars. But sailing boats don't go on land like hovercrafts. Oh, yes. <coughs> Grandpa Pig, who is this friend of yours? So sorry about that. Sorry? About what? We want to thank him for rescuing us. Oh, I see. He's called Grampy Rabbit. Delighted to meet you, old bean. You're very welcome, old bean. Three cheers for Grampy Rabbit. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, 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 hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Motorbiking! It is a lovely sunny day in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig with his raspberry patch. A little bird has come to look at Grandpa Pig's raspberries. <coughs> ah! Shoo, shoo! <coughs> Cheeky birds, eat my raspberries, would you? The little birds like your raspberries, Grandpa. So do I. It's a good job I'm here to make sure they don't eat them all. Grandpa Pig, I've just had a wonderful idea. <coughs> Let's go camping. Camping? Camping! <laughs> we could camp in the garden. No, let's drive somewhere. 
find a nice spot and pitch a tent. But our car is at Grandad Dog's garage, being fixed. Oh, yes. What about the old motorbike? Motorbike? Yes. Grandpa and I have had many adventures on our motorbike when we were younger. Whee! <laughs> ah, yes. That was fun. But it was a long time ago, Granny Pig. All the more reason for us to get the old motorbike out again. <laughs> Here it is. Motorbike! <laughs> What's this funny thing on the side? It's called a sidecar, Pepper. You and George can sit in it. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. You must wear a safety helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard. Yes, yes Granny Pig. Which way should we go? That way. The seaside. Hooray! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Granny's motorbike goes brum 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 Granny's motorbike goes brum 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 all day long <laughs> This is Grandad Dog's garage Hello! Fill her up please, Grandad Dog Granny Pig, I didn't know you had a motorcycle Yes, we're using it while you fix our car Well, the car is fixed you can take it now. Oh. oh. If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye. 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 Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum all day long. <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at the seaside. Hooray! Let's camp here. But Granny, we forgot in the tent. No, we haven't, Pepper. This is a very special camping motorbike. Watch this. Wow. wow. The motorbike has turned into a tent. It's a magic tent. Yes, Pepper. We've got everything we need to sleep by the sea. Hooray! I hope you're not missing your raspberries too much, Grandpa Pig. Not at all. Because I made a few adjustments to the motorbike this morning and brought my garden too. Wow! Your raspberry patch! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves camping. Especially when he can bring his garden with him. The clubhouse! Pepper and her friends are at the playground today. <laughs> I'm a cheeky monkey! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> This is such a great playground. Yes, the children love it. Once they start playing, they never want to stop. Stop! Here is Mr Bull. Stand back, everyone! Mr Bull, what are you doing? I'm digging up the playground. Why are you digging up the playground? So I can make a hole for the concrete. Where do you want the concrete, boss? In the hole. Uh, excuse me, Mr Ball. I think there's been some kind of mistake. We don't want the playground dug up. The playground is perfect as it is. With you in a moment. Just need to get the concrete done. Concrete starts off soft. Soft, soft. Hard! Moo! And then concrete sets as hard as rock. OK, sorry about the weight. 
What exactly were you all asking? What are you doing? I've made a concrete base. But why? To put this clubhouse on. <gasps> if you don't want it, I can take it away again. We want it! Actually, that does look quite good. It's got a slide and a swing and all kinds of other fancy stuff. Let me show you around. This is the front door. It looks a bit small, Mr. Bull. That's because it's not for grown-ups, Daddy Pig. It's for children. Wow! Everything is children size. Yes, the clubhouse is not too big and not too small, but just right for children. <gasps> There's a toy cooker. The toy cooker is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. And a toy fridge. It's got plastic cheese inside. There's a telephone. Does it work? Well, it's a toy telephone made out of wood, but you can pretend it works. Ring, 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 ring. Aren't you going ring, to ring, answer that? Ring, ring. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. <laughs> Who is this? Who is it? It is the king of the world. Thank you. Yes, I am busy right now. Goodbye. <laughs> Peppa loves the wooden telephone. <laughs> this is the hatch with a counter. Ooh. It's like a little shop or a cafe. What do you want from our cafe today, Mr. Bull? Um, what have you got? We have pretend coffee or pretend tea. OK. Pretend tea, please. There you go. Have a nice day. Mmm, that hit the spot. <laughs> Mr Bull likes pretend tea. Can we see the rest of the clubhouse now? Of course. Please go up the ramp to the next floor. <laughs> this is the balcony. Now we're as tall as the grown-ups. Yes. <laughs> and off the end of that balcony is the slide. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Whee! You have done a very good job. I must admit, it is quite good. Three cheers for Mr Bull! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Hip, hip, hip! Hooray! Ooh, you are most welcome. Ooh, it looks lovely and cosy. Can I go inside? No, Mummy. Grown-ups are not allowed. But could us grown-ups just have a quick look inside? No, Daddy. Why not? Because the clubhouse is for children. <laughs> Peppa loves the clubhouse. All the children love the clubhouse. Danny's pirate bedroom. Peppa is going to Danny Dog's house for the day. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, Danny. Peppa, you're just in time to help. We're doing a bedroom makeover for Danny. That sounds like fun. I'll see you later, Peppa. Bye, Daddy. What is a bedroom makeover? It's like on TV, when they make the room look completely different. Ooh. I'm going to have a pirate bedroom. Aha! I've already got a pirate bed. <laughs> wow! And today we're going to decorate the whole bedroom. On the walls we are going to paint the sea. On the ceiling there will be stars. When I sleep, it will be like I'm sailing on the sea. <laughs> ah, yes, the sea. I remember those days. Free to sail my boat wherever I wanted, under a starry sky, in search of sea monsters. But those days are over. Now I'm back home and I'll never sail the sea again. Captain Dog misses the sea. Right then, let's get this bedroom makeover started. We'll cover the room with sheets. This will stop everything getting paint on it. And to keep paint off our clothes, we'll put on overalls. <laughs> this dark blue paint is for the sky. It's going to be a night sky. Ooh. Mummy Dog paints the ceiling using a roller with a long, long handle. 
help? Of course! Here are your brushes. Let's do the walls. <laughs> Here we go. Big waves, just like the real sea. I'll do some storm clouds. Can we put the stars on the ceiling? We certainly can. <laughs> oh, the ceiling's too high. Huh, I can't reach. Let's give you some help. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh, the stars are glittery. Danny's pirate bedroom is done. It's just like when they do the makeovers on TV. Um, on TV, the person has to open their eyes and say, what a surprise. But you've already seen it all. <laughs> I can pretend I haven't. Good idea, Danny. Yes, let's make it even better by having you step outside the room. Close your eyes. And let's close the door. Are you ready, Danny? Yes, I'm ready. Keep your eyes closed. I will. <laughs> OK, in you come. No peeking. <laughs> now open your eyes. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> OK, me hearties. Who is ready to set sail? Me! Me! me. Let's climb aboard the ship. <laughs> Where shall we sail to, Captain Danny? Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's look for sea monsters. Sea monsters, you say? That sounds like a grand adventure to me. Yo-ho-ho, yo-ho-ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. Yo-ho-ho, yo-ho-ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favourite place to be. We are sailing on the sea. Yes, what could be better? Sail in the sea and staying at home. This is the best pirate bedroom ever. Aha! <laughs> Danny loves pirate bedrooms. <laughs> Everyone loves pirate bedrooms. <laughs> canoe trip. Pepper and her family are going on a canoe trip. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Can we have a canoe for the day, please? Yes, here you go. You'll need life jackets. <laughs> and paddles for Mummy and Daddy. Thanks. Have a lovely day. I'll call you when it's time to come back. Uh, which way do we go? You can go either way. Let's go that way. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh, we're not moving. And it's really hard work. That's because you're paddling against the flow of the river. Try going the other way. OK. Oh, that's much better. It is easier to paddle with the flow of the river. Happy canoeing! Pepper and her family are off on their canoe adventure. Let's pretend this is a jungle river. And we are the first explorers to ever come this way. Will we see wild animals? Oh, yes. All kinds of wild and fierce animals. It's Mrs Duck. Oh, oh. I wonder what other dangerous creatures are swimming in these waters. Will there be crocodiles? Well, we're not really in the jungle, so I don't think we'll see a crocodile. Ah! Hello there. Here is Mrs Crocodile. Oh, hello. Are you having fun on the river? Yes. Me too. I was just out for a swim. Lovely. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Look at those lovely plants on the riverbank. Yes. Let's stop and do a bit of jungle exploring. I hope we see a lion. Oh, I think it's unlikely we'll see her. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Lion. I'm having a picnic. Would you like to be part of it? Uh, I've got lots of lovely fruit and a big bowl of salad. Ooh, my favourite. Yes, salad. 
And what could be a better lunch? Mr. Lion likes picnics. Everyone likes picnics. So, you're canoeing down the river. Yes, we're having an adventure. Ha <laughs> ha, fantastic. I think you'll like the next bit of the river. It's very exciting. I like exciting. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Hmm, I wonder what Mr Lion meant when he said the next bit would be exciting. Careful not to hit that rock, Daddy Pig. Don't worry, Mummy Pig. It's only one little rock. See? That was easy. More rocks, Daddy! The river is going faster now. Ah! Hold tight, everybody! Whee! Oh, watch out! <laughs> We survived. That was the best. Again, again. Yes, let's go through the exciting bit again. Again, again. Uh, if I can possibly avoid it, I never want to go through that bit of river again. What's that noise? It's time to come back. Oh, we have to take the canoe back. Ah, yes. So we do have to go through that bit again. Ready, Mummy Pig? Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it is very hard work to paddle against the flow of the river. We are going really slowly. Hi again. Do you need a push? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> We're back. Amazing. How are you moving against the flow without paddling? <laughs> There. Mrs. Crocodile, you startled me. Oh, sorry, Miss Rabbit. I was just giving them some help. Yes. Thank you so much, Mrs. Crocodile. You're very welcome. That was the best canoe trip in the world ever. Pepper <laughs> loves canoe trips. <laughs> Everyone loves canoe trips. <laughs>